Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nashley. Today I am taking you with me as we go thrifting and antiquing. It's one of my favorite things to do and every time that I think about going somewhere thrifting or antiquing, I always go with my brother and his wife because they like know the best spots and down where they live, which is like in Polk County, very far, they have like the best thrift stores. It's more rural down there. And maybe that's why they just have a little bit more variety or maybe it's just not as picked through. So I'm just gonna take you with me to a few of those shops and I hope you enjoy looking through all of the things that I look through. If you're ever in Lakeland, Florida, this is the best place to go to for antique shopping. It is a 44,000 square foot facility. It's filled to the brim with vintage items, antiques, collectibles, and as well as authentic Disney things like anything to do with disney you're gonna find in here it's really cool when i go to antique malls and things like that i really look for unique pieces that i'm not going to be able to find in other people's homes so anything as far as pottery or the like candelabras like this picture frames cool items like a uh, really old iron <laughs> Those kinds of things are going to make your home homey and cozy. And then this place has lots and lots of vendors that specialize in different things. Like this one in specific specializes in like the Victorian era decor and things like that. And then of course, when you go anywhere like to a thrift store or to an antique mall, you're bound to run into glassware and bowls that are unique and affordable, which is the best part. A lot of these items are great as is, like you can get this bowl and put it in your house and be done. This frame, however, is beautiful, but the picture is scratched, so all you would need to do is paint something in it and it turns into a whole other thing. So that's also the beauty about buying things that are secondhand, that you can buy them as is and be, have it be beautiful on its own, or you can do things to it to kind of help it you're also gonna find things that people have created and have let go of, so I love this. It's, I mean, it's, somebody took time to make that and I think it's beautiful. I love finding different light fixtures too. And then when you head towards the back, you have the Volt Collectibles, which is where they have things that were inside of the parks or in the hotels, and then you can buy it and take it home with you, and so you'll have a little piece of Disney with you. And like I said earlier, it was around fall time, right before Halloween, so they had all the fun Halloween things out, as well as fall-related items. Something else I also like to look for are trays, little trinket boxes and baskets at the thrift store because when you go in the store, it's so expensive, but when you find it out here, look, it's $12. This probably would have been like $30 at Home Goods or something like that. Then we headed over to Sherman's Antiques. We're still in Polk County. I can't remember if this is like Davenport, Haines City, but this place was so, so cool. It was filled to the brim with collectibles and antiques as well. They had all their Christmas decor out, or at least whatever they did put out. They probably have more now. And they had just cool toys and cowboy boots and florals and baskets like I found this beautiful acorn basket and I thought it was gonna be perfect for fall I just didn't know where to put it so I didn't get it but it is definitely very very beautiful they have cool artwork for your walls which when you go to the thrift store there's I feel like almost an endless amount of choices and I think that is awesome and of course the best part about it is the price and when you go to these places, you're gonna find some really cool stuff. Like this boat, it is $600. I think that's crazy, but it is very intricate. And again, in places like this, you're gonna be able to find really cool matching sets like China. It's gorgeous, very intricate. I think it's a conversation starter and you can bring these out for special occasions. This jug, I feel like I see everywhere on Instagram and it's trendy it's a very trendy thing they have a downstairs area which is also huge and even more cool i think than upstairs it, they have it set up for like little living rooms and little nooks where you can find really cool stuff like look at this couch that is the coolest couch and a little tray i almost got those pillows i just they weren't choppable so they didn't pass the test for me but 
all the cool stuff everywhere. I could literally spend hours and hours just looking at all the stuff because it's a little part of history as well as just interesting stuff to look at and learn about. I think the main difference between an antique store and a thrift store are the pricing. Like, these are such beautiful glassware. Like, look at this compote. It's $52. I think it's a little steep unless you're willing to spend money on it. And I think this was like a $20 ashtray, which is kind of crazy to me. This little broom is like $15. I just can't see myself spending that much for things like this. This is, is debatable. $65 for all three and they're absolutely beautiful. Now we have left Sherman's and now we are in the care center thrift store. This is more like your typical thrift store. You're gonna have to just look through all the rough items to find that diamond and this place has a few but the place that I enjoyed more out of there was the annex room which was filled with bigger pieces of furniture for heavily discounted prices so if you're looking for cool chairs you're gonna find it for like 10 15 bucks they had a washer and a dryer i think this one was like 55 or 75 dollars same with the washer cool headboards i mean it might be worth it just to purchase it for a project and then this is something that you're just gonna try and fix or make it better or even just as is like some of these chairs i would just leave them as is they're beautiful so out of all of the things that i saw at that at the antique shops and the thrift stores or whatever we went to i didn't have anything necessarily jump out at me it's not like i'm really looking to fully decorate my house again but i did have something that did call out my name and it was this this is like a little i think you would call it like a little trinket tray it's plastic which is a winner for me because i have toddlers but it also has like very detailed uh, border. It also kind of has it inside to uh, ignore that. That is so, because I am using this as my little tray in our guest bathroom. The perfect colors, it goes in there and then I put my little hand soap and a towel and it looks so cute. It's much better than what I had in there before. And I love it. I love it and it was like $12. Couldn't beat it. It's great. I have nothing more to say about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going thrifting and antiquing. But if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content like this and hit that bell notification to be notified when I post another video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.